So what are we gonna do, guys? What are we gonna do? Horde is coming. Horde is coming. Everybody's gonna die. Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, guys, new friends, we gotta go. Gotta go. Right now. I, I know you may be tired, possibly, for from our little duels, and so are we, but we ain't got no time. No time for tacos today. Daddy filled us in, but thank you all the same. I, I must return to my city without delay. Oh, that's sweet of you guys. You okay, Vidafnir? I don't appreciate the roar to my face constantly, but... See, a brother at least has more graceful landings. Uh, d do we know how to get on these things? A, a step ladder? Maybe a paw? Maybe curl your tail around my leg and lift me up? How the hell are we even holding on? I mean, dragons possess magic and things too, so maybe they have some sort of magical gravitational thing that keeps us magnetized to their backs or something. I don't know. I am just making stuff up. I know it's something silly to think about, but... Again, these are people who've never rode on dragons before, so they have no idea how to keep their balance, things like that. Ah, making stuff up. Okay, okay, horse wrecking shit up. Guys. Well, doesn't this light look familiar? Well, they're wasting no time at all. Where's the dragon killers, damn it? Uh, Already get a helmet! Who we'll say you too? Seriously. Remember your training! We hold fast until the Lord Commander returns. Well, I'm happy for your faith, but... How do we know we weren't going to totally fail on this mission? Ugh. We must hold! As far as they're staring to the steps of faith and haven't gone into the city proper yet. I mean, I know they're kind of trying. Where are the dragon killers? Fire those things! Guys, 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 aim for the eyes! That's gonna hurt. Dude, there's dragons all around you! Go beat the shit out of them! Reinforcements! By the fury. That one is the size of Nidhogg. But it don't look like him, though! Remember, black dragons are evil. White dragons are good! Mostly. At least for now they are. Uh, got guys, our friends are facing the other way.
Lord Commander! You are late, Warrior of Light! Alright, where is the bastard? Yeah, yeah, you scurry away, you little bitches. There you are. You shall not pass! Okay, I'm sorry, that had to be done. Brother is dead. Thank you, Chris Vilgar, for mentioning this. That time someone did. He's being nice there. I think he means leave my children the fuck out of this asshole. No, I'm just kidding. I really shouldn't be making jokes this in a pivotal scene like this. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. He talks shit about the waifu. Oh, get him, Race Vulgar. Get him. I'm sorry, they look both rather silly with their necks fully extended like that. Oh, he pissed. No, I'm just gonna like, oh, I'm just gonna walk the uh, hell away over here and stay out of this. Spare him no mercy, Race Vulgar. Show him the anguish you have suffered for a thousand years. Okay, dragons with telekinetic powers. Okay. Nice job, Graceful Gear. Thank you, friend. Aim for the eyes! Aim for the eyes! I can't see anymore. Guys, it's happening up there. Now oh, even the dragons are like, what the hell?
Get him! Get him! Oh, that had to hurt. Oh, you are a dead motherfucker. Here's my ass, Nidhogg, Mr. Only Awaken Eight Times. Snalis Ray in Nedwo Elstra. In his match. Uh oh, we a little pissy? The astute viewer would notice that this is Hrisfelgar's left eye, the very same one that has sustained Nidhogg for a thousand years. I hope he takes notice of that. Because he fucking hates your guts right now! Maybe you haven't heard, bitch. I'm the warrior of light. And now I am fueled by the very self-same strength that kept you going for a thousand years. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Bring it on. So obviously this is a very, very special area. You can only access during the, uh, the time between the scenes here. But yes, you can see the both of them hiding in the, well not really hiding, but visible in the background there. Obviously you can return to the outside area. But I love how they just kept this. They just didn't, you know, be like, oh, this duty is now available, and they're 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 totally keeping you immersed in this, even though you can't visit, you can't see any of the NPCs. I mean, having them interactable would be just something that would be that they couldn't do. But it would have been wonderful, although I'm not complaining at the lack of it, to have our our, our friends. Well, granted, they did run away, but at least have somebody like here, like visible in the background or. Or something, just somebody watching us. But again, I'm not really that disappointed that that doesn't exist. It, it's just something that just would have been cool. The final fight has begun, my friends. And while it is not obvious to you, the viewer, due to editing while waiting in the, in the, the queue, the music actually doesn't skip a beat between that mini instance area and here, keeping the immersion 100% in intact, and I absolutely love it for that. So one thing you might notice as this fight progresses is that it is very similar 
to the fight with him in the airy, which would obviously make sense. I mean, we're fighting the same bad guy after all. Why wouldn't things be alike? But Ming Hog's got some new tricks up his sleeve. Like the first person who stands in an AoE. So many people have trouble with this fight. And I don't understand why, because I don't know how you get this far in the game without knowing how to dodge some pretty color on the floor to make sure you don't die. Because, as you see, a lot of things in here, if you stand in them, may outright one-shot you to death. Well, that was redundant, but... The end result is exactly the same. You're gonna die. Don't do that. And frankly, the healers aren't gonna have enough MP to keep healing everybody over and over and over again. So pretty please don't. There's a lot of AoE damage going out here and while it's not overly difficult to heal in and of itself, if you drain your healer's mana by forcing them to raise you, you're gonna be in for a rough time with them. So hopefully if everyone can stay stay alive for three damn minutes. Let's talk about Nidhogg himself, whom I see as a selfish child. Uh, stay in my heal range, please. Because while I completely understand his anger at Radatoska's death, essentially what happens is he sees his sister's corpse, is completely understandably a little bit upset by this and despite the fact that he now knows that Thordin the first and his cronies know his weakness he decides to go after them now I'm not saying he, he was wrong to want to smack them in the face and kill them in retaliation and I do not blame him for that however he's the one who picks that fight and he only manages to take out half of them before he himself has his own eyes taken from him. And then he immediately goes crying to his brother to come save him so he can continue his quest for vengeance. And over the next thousand years, he will only himself show up eight times to assist with this so-called vengeance he has ceaselessly committed for the past thousand years. You're full of shit, Nidhogg. Leaving instead, sometimes by force, for his children to do the dirty work for him instead of doing it his damn self. Now again, I'm not, I'm not gonna blame him for his anger, and I think I, th I do think he had a right to go after Thornton and Co. I, I do think he was justified in doing so, but the fact that he, he lost the fight he picked and then blames it all on his brother, and he's like, oh, vengeance shall be mine, and then is not really the one who's actually enacting this vengeance. So, no, I see him as a selfish little crying child and a coward. Now, as a force, as in just... The fact that Ishgard doesn't know when he's gonna show, when he or even the rest of the horde are gonna show up at any time. It, you know, all they know is war. They've lived in fear for a thousand years, and as a villain in in that regard, just as a mere presence, he is very effective. Where he fails, for reasons I just said, as well as in Sor uh, Sorakai, is as a character. I feel no need to sympathize with Nidhogg in any sort of capacity. And maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe he is supposed to be this irredeemable villain. But at the same time, that doesn't make for a very compelling character. Like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of evil for the sake of evil sort of thing. I like depth to my characters. And that sometimes it doesn't necessarily have to be deep. I mean, to his credit, he, he, he's not quote-unquote evil just because he's evil. He has, a, he has a very legitimate reason to be angry. But at the same time, dude, as a selfish child, let it fuck go. Just let it go. Even Midgard Somer's like, yeah, yeah, okay, knock it the shit off, guy. Now, like, really, you, you've gone a little bit too far. 
And when freaking Dragon Dad thinks you've gone too far, you've gone too far. And considering Midgard Zomer was perfectly willing to join in on this just a short time ago and has now changed his mind, yeah, it pretty much just goes to show how absolutely off the rocker Nidhogg is. And yes, I do truly believe that in at least a metaphorical capacity that the original Nidhogg died the very, the very moment that he discovered Ratatoska dead because he it's obvious whatever kind of dragon he was before that he obviously was never the same this is all he's thought about in a thousand years even if he actually hasn't been actively doing it himself like even now like all he knows is vengeance and bloodshed that's all he knows and I probably should have waited to pop divine seal there whoops actually no it'll still be up for this Guys, healers, Divine Seal Cure 3 this. It's by far the most effective way to heal it. Don't sit there and spam Medica. It's not worth the time. Pro tip there. So these flame things are pretty much bomber man. So that's one very easy way to avoid them. FYI. It, it can be hard to tell from time to time which direction they're going to blow in, but generally the corners are safe, generally speaking. Don't move, don't move, let me heal you. Don't move! Okay, there we go. Crisis averted. Cast that cure three a little too early, but one of my disappointments about this fight is it doesn't get a tune of its own, really, at least the first part of it, because it's just a remix of the normal boss fight. And thus, this other second half doesn't really last long enough for my liking. But at the very least, even as I dislike the, the fact that the first part of the song is not unique, it's a remix. How it is mixed is very effective toward, you know, like this is, you know, the final fight, you know, there's, there, 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 there's just so much tension, you know, this is the final battle, and just, just everything. So, as much as I hate people dying in this fight, and I'm, I'm a little stressed out as a result of it, this fight is, is, is overall incredible. It's not my favorite of the fights in the game, in the game, but I think for, for what it is, it, it is extremely effective and powerful, so... There's that. I should probably shroud the saints. Okay, I do have a size. All right. I've been a little bit too cocky with my MP, mostly because I'm too busy talking, and I just regen the wrong tank. Stack, 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 guy, stack. Oh, okay, he's already dead. Okay, I totally didn't pay attention to that. Woohoo! Woohoo! Can I have my friend back, you son of a bitch? Estinian? Estinian, are you still in there? Are you still in there? I'm sorry I had to kick your butt, but but please, are, are you still in there? Okay, I was gonna say thank you to everybody for actually succeeding. Y you okay, buddy? Are you okay? You alright? Are you in there, or are you- well, okay, you're still glowing, so you're Nidho- I'm gonna get the fuck away from you! No, 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 no! Out, 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 out! So how's it gonna be, Nidhogg? Estinian! I broke my glasses for you! Oh god, they're still moving! Oh shit! Is this to be mine end? Okay, one of the archers, somebody shoot him or something while he's Maybe minorly subdued. I will not allow it. I am of the first brood. I am vengeance incarnate. I am Nidhogg. Thou shalt die by my hand. Wait, 
What? This is not your hand, worm! It's dead in! Oh, go! Go! Thou wilt obey! I would ask one last favor of you, Warrior of Light. Finish me! Now, while I have the beast subdued! Nope. I get a better idea. Ah, ah! Shit, this has got to hurt. You waste your time. Kill me! It is the only way! Ending Nidhogg! will be my final duty. Nobody dies on my watch anymore, Astinian. No! You can't die like this! I won't let you! Okay, I could do without the close-ups there, game. What? Oh, you didn't really think we would get through the end of this without another power of friendship scene, did you? Did you? Lend me your strength, my friends. I just falls right the hell over there. I know this is supposed to be serious, but no, 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 no! Your soul is supposed to go the other direction, other way. Well, hopefully he's actually gone for good now. Hopefully. Because I'd really not like to have a repeat cycle of all this. Okay, what the hell do we do with these now? Guys, I can't see you. Are you alright, buddy? It's kind of face planted over there, but the eyes cast them into the abyss. Yeah, let's get these things the fuck away from anybody. Anybody out down for bowling? I hope those hit some really sharp, pointy rocks at the bottom. He lives. Ah, oh, Astinian, my ill-fated friend. Uh, somebody call for a medic, maybe? Lucia, summon the healers. I want them ready to receive him. Oh good, somebody's finally smart for once! At once, Lord Commander. Scare the saluting and run! Run! Allow me to do this much, at least. And thus the shippers rejoiced. Hey, somebody found my glasses. Hey, Harris, for guy, you doing okay? Bunch of pussy cowards. 
You have my gratitude, Resvelga. Your deeds this day have saved a great many lives. But 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 we can still be friends, right? Ustra. Sell yourself short there, friend. We are friends now, right? Uh, uh, Harris, would, would you like your eye back? I no longer need it. One in nest eek on Kafta. The battle is won. We can do no more for Estinian now than bear him home and wish him well. Even as Reisvelka did. The rest we must trust to the hands of the healers and the grace of the gods. I think we need to bring him some flowers. And some cookies. And some hot cocoa with marshmallows. Gotta have the hot cocoa with marshmallows. All right, friend. It's all right. Battle is won. Yeah, I know this is an NPC who's always present here, but I find his presence here very fitting. Very fitting. So we're going to end this episode right here. As awkward as it seems, since, yeah, Dragon Song War is mostly sort of officially over now. Nidhogg should be actually really and truly dead this time, unless there's some kind of snail or microbacteria over there that's gonna possess Ned Hog's eyes. Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be hysterical though? Again, I know I shouldn't be this humorous in light of all the drama and the seriousness as I have been the last couple episodes. But at the same time, wouldn't it be hysterical if like a snail like crawled on like Ned Hog's eye and, you know, imagine he's still like alive in there and ends up possessing the body of of, of a fucking snail. And he's like, ah oh, shit, what the hell am I supposed to do? Because at least with possessing Estinian, he was obviously still taking very much advantage of Estinian's battle prowess. But, like, with the snail, what the hell is he going to do? <laughs> but, anyway, thank you for watching, friends. And we shall conclude this patch and the aftermath. And hopefully Estinian makes, makes it through. Cross your fingers, guys. Pray. Pray.